Hello, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to your tarot and oracle reading for the week ahead. Whenever you are finding this, your first card out is man holding a heart upright. Isn't that sweet? There is a lot of romantic energy coming through for you at this time. I feel like you or someone else, possibly both, you and someone else, I feel, <laughs> are opening your hearts up to each other allowing yourself to put your ego and your fears aside and just share in your love with each other and explore that and see how it grows which is very beautiful i love that and you may already be with this person by the way um long term or this could be someone new this could be someone old coming back in it'll be different for all of you watching we have the cardinal moon which is your moon be bold and make the first move i feel like you're taking a sort of really well okay i'm actually seeing this in multiple areas of your life you're taking really bold steps in your romantic life first and foremost and taking some sort of action like really bold action to share your feelings with someone or to open up or initiate um, a conversation or what you want. Like I'm seeing really bold moves being made in the name of love. And this isn't just romantic. I'm also seeing for some of you, you may be making these bold moves in the name of love for other people in your life. Like you may be getting a really wonderful gift for your mom or your dad or your sister or your brother or your best friend, something like that. Or really taking the time to make like a post that's really meaningful, sharing your love for one of your best friends, something like that I'm really seeing. But I'm also seeing um, taking bold actions in your personal life and goals, wanting to do that first and foremost, and doing something spontaneously just to get that energy started. There's something about this week ahead where it's like you're settling down or you're settling in. So I don't know if some of you have been like, I don't know, having some like changes taking place, travel, movement, whatever. So it's like you're unsettled a little bit. So this week that we're reading into, it feels like you're still settling down. But in this, after you settle down, you want to start taking a lot more bold um, steps forward in your career and your goals. And this week, as you're settling down, I feel like you're just doing one thing, maybe two things that are really, really bold like and it'll just make you like feel okay you're not anxious like oh i should be working or oh i should be productive it's like something really big um just to settle you for the moment as you sort of settle in a bigger way does this make sense i think it makes sense i hope it makes sense to you but essentially you're being very assertive which is great then you have breathe coming out beautiful and it says the breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the connection between the inside and the outside, connecting you to the universe, spirit, and the divine source. The breath permeates your entire being with prana, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. Beautiful. All right, we're going to get six cards, two rows of three from the Rider Waite Smith deck to get some further elaboration on this week ahead. First card out is the 10 of pentacles, guys. Big energy, some, and this looks so different for all of you. I'm seeing an image, like clairvoyantly, someone watching is signing a lease with someone, with your partner, or signing a mortgage, you may be buying a house with someone. I feel like it's you and someone else are signing some sort of agreement, or this could even be like getting into a relationship with someone and you're figuring out the details and you're both agreeing to this thing. You may literally be signing a contract and this could even be in your career life as well. Uh, I'm seeing another image of someone signing on a manager or some sort of like, what are those people called? Where like, if you're a model, is that a manager? An agency signing onto an agency or some sort of production company. I'm seeing that for some reason for some of you. You're just essentially making some sort of agreement with someone else that will be very beneficial for your emotional well being, stability, and your career as well. And usually those things go hand in hand. When you have a stable relationship, it gives so much to your career, to your goals, because that person, if, if it's an equal and balanced relationship at least, like supports you, inspires inspires you, uplifts you, and it, you can go so much further. There's literally been research that has proven that men who are married um, achieve a lot more in their career and make a ton more money than single men. Now, the same statistics are not quite as equal for women. <laughs> Sexism, you know? Um, and there's a whole lot to unpack there and why that is, but that's not for today's reading. <laughs> um, and vice versa. I mean, like, if you have a really good, stable career life, 
and you're meeting your goals and you're making enough money on your own as an individual, it really allows you the room and the opportunity to have a super healthy, amazing relationship and not be staying in that relationship out of need, you know? Oh my God, the chariot. Some of you guys literally are moving, <laughs> making movements and traveling. Like I said, there's something unsettled here about you. Um, but I'm also viewing this as forward movements in relationships and career. I, it keeps coming back to those two key themes here, making bold decisions to move forward in relationships and in your career simultaneously. As your energy is settling down from some sort of crazy thing like some of you may have just finished school or like recently traveled or moved you know it's like your energy is settling down from some sort of big change energy movement and simultaneous to that of course because you're an aries and you multitask <laughs> you are moving forward with your relationships and your career making big leaps of faith really into the unknown that's what the chariot represents like this is sort of i always view the chariot as that period in young adulthood usually like the 20s where you are leaving the the nest that you grew up in your hometown and you're traveling out into the world and you're seeing what's out there and you are taking a lot of leaps of faith into the unknown like you don't know what's going to happen if you move or if you take this job or this relationship or if you you know make your own business or it's like kind of self-exploration and seeing where it takes you but it's very optimistic and i feel like whatever it is that you're doing that with right now like if it's a new relationship if it's a move if it's signing a contract with someone or something whatever it is that you're doing right now i feel like it is going to lead you to longer term happiness and success so for example many of you may be starting a relationship and this person is like your forever person straight up or if you are making some sort of movement in your career like this is the job that's going to lead you to financial prosperity your dream house and all of the things that come with that lifestyle so very big moves knight of swords it's happening very quickly guys and it may feel scary i think you're going to be scared there's just no getting around that like when you make these big leaps out of your comfort zone you will be a little nervous you'll be scared you'll be in your head and you'll probably be thinking of every single scenario on how this could go wrong or how you're gonna go broke or heartbroken or something like that it's natural it's totally natural embrace it <laughs> Oh my gosh, second row. And actually this card is coming out right underneath the breathe card. Spirit is saying that is natural. Breathe through those feelings. When you breathe, you remind yourself, I say as my nose is stuffed, I am a soul connected to this body and I am safe. And this is what life is all about. Just diving headfirst into the unknown and following those gut feelings and seeing where it takes me. It's very beautiful energy. Whenever you're feeling scared or overwhelmed, with the really big, beautiful choices that you're making in life, return back to the breath. It's always there for you until it's not. <laughs> Second row of cards out, fourth card is the page of swords. Yeah, I can't help but think that there's a conversation happening like that is leading you to some sort of agreement, arrangement um, with someone else. And you're both feeling very clear-minded. You're both speaking up about what you want, the direction you want things to go in. Uh, whether this is a business partnership, romantic partnership, whatever, I feel like there are discussions um, being made, uh, being had. And yeah, it feels very clear, clear discussions, clear communication. Five of wands reverse, I take that back. <laughs> I absolutely take that back. There, the thing is, there's gonna be like a back and forth. For example, let's just say you're buying a car, which is totally aligned with this energy for some of you. There may be a back and forth banter with the person you're buying the car from on how much the car is worth, okay? Like you may negotiate a price. That is the negotiation stage. And I think you're getting very fearful because you feel like you're in a rush once that negotiation phase starts. And Spirit's trying to say to you, breathe, slow down, okay? You can take your time to really communicate like you don't have to make a decision right away for example if you have a realtor 
and you're touring all of these houses, okay? And you find one that you're kind of interested in, but you're a little bit hesitant because it's a huge decision, right? Like Spirit's saying, you don't have to make a decision the second you tour the house. Like you can ask all of the questions that you want and you can get it inspected and do this and that and really just make sure that whatever is making you nervous, you're talking about it, you're expressing it. And the more information that you gather, the more information you collect, the more you talk about things and talk things through, the more confident you will feel in listening to your intuition and making a bold choice, okay? The reason why you're afraid to make bold choices in life is because it feels like gambling when you don't have all the information. It's like working with the stock market. You shouldn't buy stocks that you don't even know what the company is. You don't know what they're doing. Like that's really dumb. That is literally gambling. You have no idea what you're getting into. Now, if you wanna make a really big investment, make lots of money and you have a gut feeling, like I should invest a lot of money in this stock, um, but you're unsure and you're scared, something you can do to grow your confidence is just look into it, research it, um, gather more information, and that will make you feel better about your decision, whether that's a yes or a no. So, and that, and you don't have to rush that process. Spirit is saying, do not rush that process. Take your time, breathe through it, and you know, process. It's a process. You need to process your feelings, okay? Um, talk to some friends, journal, go for a walk, meditate on it, you know? Um, now, on the flip side, yes, I understand why a part of you may be wanting to rush. Um, good opportunities do not stay in our life for long, okay? So it's a balance, really, you know? Wait long enough to gather the information you need to process it and make your decision from there, but don't linger and over-prepare so long that the opportunity is like, you know what, never mind, I don't want you, <laughs> okay? Final card out, Six of Wands. Yes, a successful outcome. Guys, this is a really good reading. This is also public recognition and success for everything that you do that comes from you making this decision. I don't know why I keep coming back to like people signing on some sort of manager or advisor or something like that that'll help you get to this level of success in your career. I don't, it's only gonna apply to a few of you. Or if this is a relationship that's coming in, there's something about this person where their support and their love is going to help you reach new levels of success in your career it seems like those two areas of life are very blended for you guys so that's very interesting thank you guys for joining me watch for your sun moon rising and venus signs to get the fullest overview on this week ahead like this video comment how it resonated down below and subscribe to the channel if you've not already if you want personal reading with me one-on-one -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box spiritpsychic.org thank you guys bye bye